Alright then. <laughs> guys welcome to ballroom feed today we are putting all of the beginner hustle patterns together in a little practice routine for you so let's go ahead and get right into it all right pattern number one stationary basic one two three four and then a rotating basic one two three four five six seven eight and then inside turn one two three four to an outside turn two three four to another inside turn so we do three in a row and here now we're going to do a stationary basic again in place to then go into the cradle and then right from the cradle we're going to go into the hammer lock and then after the hammer lock we can go back again to another rotating basic or a stationary basic and you can repeat the entire thing again yeah and it's just one of many options that you can put it all together it kind of sounds like a lot, but if you just think about it in terms of those two small mini combos that you could put together any way you want. We had the basic, stationary or rotating, and then there was just the underarm turn combination, and then it was cradle to hammer lock. So we think about it in three chunks, right? We have a basic stationary or a basic rotating, which you could customize and do any number in any direction, right? This is piece number one. The second piece was the underarm turn combination we turned it into where we went inside turn for number one, outside turn for number two, and inside turn again for number three. Inside, outside, inside, that is piece number two. Piece number three was cradle right into a hammer lock. So we did the cradle first, and then we go right into a hammer lock, and we're back out again, and that's piece number three. There's so many options in Hustle, and you can customize them any way you want. So as long as you kind of have those three pieces in mind or those little combinations, you could add any basics or rotating basics, any, anything you want in between. Yes, but for now I can always practice with exactly what we give you. Yep. We're going to do that whole thing with counts, no talking, just one, two, three, four, and then we'll do the same thing with the syncopated timing. Cool. So we'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. 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 Two, three, four. So we can do that same thing, but with our syncopated timing. If you've learned all the patterns, you've probably already tried this, but just as a demonstration, we'll try it together. And one, two, three, and one. Two, three, and one. Two, three, and one. Two, three, and one, 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 two, three, and one. Thank you so much for sticking through. I hope you learned a fun new combination today. If you, for some reason, found yourself on this video without learning all those patterns, we have them all free up uh, here on our YouTube channel, step by step, broken down into each piece. So go check those out if you haven't. Also, be sure to check out the Ball and Feed Pro section on our website where we have some more advanced moves if you're 
you know, itching to learn some more hustle, go check that out and check out our party tricks course as well if you want to add a cool trick or dip into your new party moves. Don't forget to please subscribe, turn your notifications on, like, give us a comment. Any of those would be great and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.